Here's what you missed in March 2024. Quiet on set, the dark side of kids TV begins airing, focusing on the abuse taking place behind the scenes at Nickelodeon. While a good deal of attention is directed towards showrunner Dan Schneider, the docuseries discusses other abusers working for the company, including Brian Peck, who is revealed to have abused actor Drake Bell when he was a child. In the wake of the show's release, several people with varying degrees of involvement with Nickelodeon were subsequently harassed online, leading Zoe 101 actor Matthew Underwood to reveal that he had been assaulted by his own agent, and defended those who might not have felt comfortable speaking out about the situation at Nickelodeon publicly. The horror film, Late Night with the Devil, draws criticism for its use of AI-generated art, with some calling for the boycott of the independent film. Olivia Munn reveals her breast cancer diagnosis. Robert Pattinson and Suki Waterhouse welcome their first child. Lionsgate announces that their planned TV adaptation of Twilight will be animated. The trailer for The Idea View, based on the book of the same name, is released. Rooster Teeth is shut down by its parent company, Warner Brothers, due to its alleged unprofitability. It's rumored that Margot Robbie is set to produce a film inspired by The Sims video game franchise. The Wizards of Waverly Place sequel series begins filming. Leah Michelle and Ashley Tisdale announce that they're pregnant with their second child, respectively. The Regime begins airing on HBO. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the sequel to the 2021 Ghostbusters film, premieres. The Netflix adaptation of The Three Body Problem begins airing, being unfavorably compared to the Chinese version. Production begins on the fifth and final season of You. Anne Hathaway is Vanity Fair's cover star. Filming for the third season of Euphoria is postponed, with the delay being attributed to the busy schedules of its lead cast and HBO's displeasure with director Sam Levinson. 79-year-old Squid Game actor Oh Young-soo is found guilty of sexual misconduct. Cara Delevingne's house burns down while she's out of town, but luckily, a group of firefighters were able to rescue her cats. The trailer for the second season of House of the Dragon airs. Actor Chance Perdomo, best known for his roles in The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Gen V, passes at age 27 following a motorcycle accident. The actor was traveling to Toronto to begin filming the second season of Gen V, which has now been postponed indefinitely. A Teen Titans live-action movie is in the works. Vanessa Hudgens debuts her baby bump on the Oscars red carpet. At the 2024 Academy Awards, Oppenheimer went home with seven wins out of 13 nominations, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor. Poor Things won four awards, including Best Actress for Emma Stone. Despite receiving 10 nominations, Killers of the Flower Moon went home with no wins that evening. During his Oscars acceptance speech, writer-director Jonathan Glazer criticized the ongoing attacks in Gaza, with his speech subsequently being denounced in an open letter signed by hundreds of Hollywood professionals. Divine Joy Randolph won Best Supporting Actress for her work in The Holdovers. Speaking of The Holdovers, the film is accused of plagiarizing another screenwriter's work. Ariana Grande releases her seventh studio album, Eternal Sunshine, which is accompanied by the music video for We Can't Be Friends. At the 2024 GLAAD Awards, Renee Rapp calls for an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza. Zayn Malik releases What I Am, the first single from his upcoming studio album, Room Under the Stairs. Olivia Rodrigo releases the music video for Obsessed. K-pop group Baby Monster releases the music video for Sheesh, the first to feature all seven members, as one was previously absent due to health reasons. Rihanna performs in India at the pre-wedding party for the billionaire Ambani family. Other musicians who performed for Ambani celebrations include Beyonce, John Legend, Maroon 5, and Chris Martin. That's when you know you've got a lot of money. South African musician Tyla releases her self-titled debut studio album to critical acclaim. Unfortunately, due to an ongoing injury, the accompanying tour is cancelled. Cardi B releases the music video for Enough. Kali Uchis gives birth to her first child. Beyonce releases her eighth studio album, Cowboy Carter. The album takes inspiration from country music and western movies, while featuring other artists like Dolly Parton, Miley Cyrus, Post Malone, and Willie Nelson. Halle Bailey releases the music video for her second solo single, In Your Hands. Miley Cyrus releases the song Doctor, which was first recorded back in 2013 for her Bangers album. The home of Sean Diddy Combs is raided by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security in connection to an ongoing investigation. 
Justin Timberlake's sixth studio album, Everything I Thought It Was, is released and features guest appearances from NSYNC. Camila Cabello releases I Love It, the lead single from her upcoming album, CXOXO. The song received mixed reviews for its hyperpop direction, which some critics felt was inauthentic. Charlie XCX and Addison Rae collaborate on a remix of the song Von Dutch. After going viral on TikTok, Shy Smith releases the music video for Soaked. Bjork is Vogue Scandinavia's cover star. Pierpaolo Piccioli is announced to be leaving Versace after serving as the brand's creative director for 16 years. Fashion icon Iris Apfel dies at age 102. Walter Ciappone will be exiting Blue Marine after releasing only a single collection. Beyonce appears in W Magazine to promote her new music era. Heaven by Marc Jacobs releases their spring 2024 collection, guest designed by Mimi Wade. Fashion designer Dries Van Noten is announced to be stepping down as creative director for his namesake brand. Rihanna graces the cover of Vogue China in advance of Fenty Beauty being sold in the region's Sephora stores for the first time. Beverage brand Liquid Death collaborates with Elf on a heavy metal-inspired makeup collection. 7-Eleven introduces hot dog-flavored sparkling water, which is my worst nightmare. Kylie Jenner launches Sprinter, a canned vodka soda, making it the latest in a long line of celebrity alcohol brands. Oreo releases a limited edition churro flavor. The 1.6 update for the Stardew Valley video game goes live. After a good deal of conspiracy theories regarding her disappearance, Kate Middleton reveals that she has been privately battling cancer. What did you miss in March 2024?